Hola y bienvenidos a todos. Hi and welcome everyone to a Spanish session here with Louise from Speech Travel Languages. This session that we're about to embark on today is our very first Spanish lesson, so it's suitable for complete beginners, perhaps taking your very first steps in learning Spanish. So without further ado, let's get to know each other, shall we? Nos conocemos. Let's get to know each other. We're going to start here with some basic greetings in Spanish, moving through how you're feeling today, exchanging your name, where you're from, where you live and your nationality. So it's really about speaking here. So the idea is you're going to listen carefully to the words I'm saying and repeat them nice and clearly after me. Let's start with the basic greetings, shall we? Hola. Buenos días. Buenas tardes. Buenas noches. Adiós. Hasta luego. Hasta mañana. Hasta pronto. Shall we try them again? Hola. Buenos días. Buenas tardes. Buenas noches. Adiós. Hasta luego. Hasta mañana. Hasta pronto. ¿Qué tal? How are you? ¿Cómo estás? How are you doing? Hola, ¿qué tal? Hola, ¿cómo estás? Fenomenal. Bien. Regular. Mal. Fatal. ¿Y tú? ¿Qué tal? Let's try those feelings again, shall we? Try to get lots of expression on your voice too. Fenomenal. Bien. Regular. Mal. Fatal. So here are our words we've met so far. Do you know what they mean in Spanish? Hola. Buenos días. Buenas tardes. Buenas noches. Adiós. Hasta luego. Hasta mañana. Y hasta pronto. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? Fenomenal. Bien. Regular. Mal. Fatal. ¿Y tú? Great effort so far, everybody. You've been able to say hi and ask someone how they're feeling. ¿Cómo te llamas? What's your name? ¿Cómo te llamas? Me llamo. Me llamo Luis. ¿Y tú? ¿Cómo te llamas? If we like to be a bit more specific, we could say Mi nombre es and Mi apellido es. Nombre, apellido. Encantada. It's lovely to meet you. Mucho gusto. It's a pleasure to meet you. Do you know the meanings of these? ¿Cómo te llamas? What's your name? If you'd like to be extra polite, you can change it slightly and say, ¿Cómo se llama usted? Me llamo. Mi nombre es. Mi apellido es. Encantado o mucho gusto. Great effort so far. It's time now for us to try out the words in Spanish for some different países, countries y las nacionalidades, and our nationalities. As each image appears on the screen, you're now going to hear the Spanish word for the country. Say them aloud after me. Alemania. Inglaterra. Irlanda. Escocia. Italia. Gales. Francia. España. Gran Bretaña, México, Los Estados Unidos. Why not rewind the video here and try those out again a few more times and then even mute the sound of my voice and call them out loud as each of the images appear on the screen. Aquí tenemos los países en español a la derecha, a la izquierda, countries in Spanish on the left y a la derecha on the right. They're English ones, but all jumbled up. Can you match them correctly to the correct English for each one? 
The correct answers are now showing on the screen for you to check how you've done. Hopefully you recognise lots of them. So now using our knowledge of the Spanish words for different countries, we can now ask somebody, De donde eres? De donde eres? Soy de Escocia. Soy de Escocia. Donde vives? Vivo en Glasgow. Donde vives? Vivo en Glasgow. Where are you from? De donde eres? I'm from Scotland. Soy de Escocia. Where do you live? Donde vives? I live in Glasgow. Vivo en Glasgow. Our final question for today is asking you, ¿Cuál es tu nacionalidad? Talking about your nationality. This time, as the image appears again on the screen, you're going to hear the nationality for each country. Listen carefully and say it in Spanish out loud after me. And you may note that I'm going to give you two versions each time. We start with German. Aleman. Alemana. Inglés. Inglesa. Irlandés. Irlandesa. Escocés. Escocesa. Italiano. Italiana. Galés. Galesa. Frances. Francesa. Español. Española. Británico. Británica. Mexicano. Mexicana. Estadounidense. Estadounidense. ¿Cuál es tu nacionalidad? What's your nationality? Soy escocés. Soy escocesa. There are two ways of giving your nationality depending on your gender. The example on the screen would be the two ways of saying that you're Scottish. A male would say escocés and a female escocesa. You might also note that the nationality is given not in capital letters too. The reason that we are changing the spelling of our nationalities is all to do with a piece of knowledge about language, or grammar knowledge in Spanish. It's all about adjectives and adjective agreements. Nationalities that we've been learning are adjectives, in other words, words used to describe a noun. In Spanish, all adjectives must agree with the gender of the noun that they are describing. For example, Paul is Escocés, but Claire is Escocesa. Both Paul and Claire are Scottish, but they're spelling that word differently. El chico es español y la chica es española. Both the boy and girl are Spanish, but they're spelling the word Spanish differently. For more information about adjective agreements, hop to our video on our YouTube channel you might want to start with the one adjective agreements for nationalities. There's a few other rules when it comes to general descriptive adjectives too. Go and give that a go and you can fire any questions you have on your comments below or perhaps directly to your teacher if you are studying with speech bubble. We've reached the end of this mini lesson. Can you complete your speech bubble for this week? Are you able to say hello? Are you able to ask and give your name, how you're feeling, where you're from, where you live, and finally, your nationality? Hasta la próxima todos. Until the next time, everybody. Adios y muchas gracias. Bye. Thanks, loads. Adios.